How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to transfer documents uh, to your Kindle Fire HD wirelessly. And when I say documents, I mean like Word documents, PDFs, etc. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to switch to the computer. And on the computer, we're going to download some software. I'm going to walk you through that. And then after that, I'm going to show you the simple ways to move it over. Then we'll jump back to the Kindle. I'll show you how to find it and we'll be done. All right. So let's jump to the computer. All right. So now we're on the computer here. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to this website I'm on right now, www.amazon.com slash cloud drive, C-L-O-U-D-D-R-I-V-E. And once you get to this website, uh, you want to go ahead and click on Get Started by down by installing our free desktop app. So click on there, and I'll have the link in the description as well in case you didn't um, weren't able to get it. So a box is going to pop up. It's going to ask you if you want to run or save. We're going to go ahead and hit Run, and what it's going to do is it's going to start downloading the software to your computer. So that's the first step. Is we're going to have to uh, transfer this. Uh, not transfer, we're going to have to download this software that's going to make it easy to do our different transfers. So now what you're going to do, a box pops up, Amazon Cloud Drive Setup, hit install, let it do its quick installation, which shouldn't take but a couple of seconds. Be a little patient with it. And it's, this is so awesome that they've added all this because the Kindle from last year, um, the first Kindle, you, as far as I know, you couldn't transfer stuff wirelessly. You had to plug it into the computer, and that is one of the options into transferring music. Is you can plug, um, basically plug in a cable right to the computer and do the transfer for music, pictures, documents, whatever. But it's a little bit easier when um, you can just do it wirelessly. And I'm going to show you that in a couple seconds here. So installation is just about done. Copying a couple files, this and that, blah blah blah. Go ahead and let that finish. This is cool because um, the app is so user friendly. I'm going to go over a couple of tweaks you can do just to make it even easier to uh, run it. And when you want to transfer something, it's literally going to be scary how fast you'll be able to do it now. So, um, getting real close here, just about done. Hopefully. And then we'll move on and we'll show all the fun stuff. There we go. All right. Setup is complete. Hit finish. And so now I'm going to go to my desktop. All right. So the first things first, you're going to have to sign into your account. Okay. So you're going to put in your email. I'm going to type in my email information and hit sign in. And what it'll do is it'll now connect all of your Amazon stuff or it'll basically connect your cloud to the stuff. So here's the cool part it kind of breaks down what you get with the drive. So it's saying choose files or photos from your computer to upload to the cloud drive. You have five gigabytes of online free storage available room for over 2,000 pictures. So you can put a lot of pictures on there. Hit next. Right click files to upload them. So if you just right click on any picture, when you hit send to, you can send it right to your cloud drive and it makes it, you know, a lot faster. Next, or you can just drag the file right to this little icon. You actually have it down here, this little cloud. You can drag it and then it'll just store it right into the cloud like that. Hit next. And you can also go on the website and you can download those pictures from any computer. So that's also cool too. Again, this is the website, Amazon.com slash cloud drive. We're gonna hit finish. And now we have this box that pops up. I'm gonna go over that box in a second, but the first thing you need to do is come down here to this little arrow, click on customize, and you wanna come down to uh that's not it. Keep going. Until you see cloud drive. It's somewhere in here. I must have passed it. Here we go. Amazon Cloud Drive. So right now, uh, I think I already said it previously, but it shows show icon notifications. Normally, it's it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be set on only show notifications. So make sure you switch this to show icon notifications. What that means is you'll always see the cloud down here. So it'll make it easier when you do want to transfer something. It'll just already be there, invisible. Okay. 
a little tweak press ok so now we have uh, this little box right here and this box won't always be here we can actually close this but when you're ready to transfer a file all you have to do is this come down to the cloud click on it that's not it wrong button click on the cloud you're gonna right click and then click uh, open upload window and that'll bring this little box right here and so um, this is the main step and basically from there you can drag and drop the different files and kind of go from there so all right let's upload some documents so I have a word document right here and I have a PDF document right here so you can see them both so I want to show you the three different ways that you'll be able to move uh, your documents because there's a couple different ways and you can after I show them to you, you can find which one is more comfortable for you so the first way is if you click on the document and drag it over this box here and let it go uh, a window pops up down here letting you know that it started uploading see that right there now the second way is we don't always have to open this up if we want to move a document we can simply close this out and let's say I want to upload this and I don't want to have to go here and right click to open it up I just simply drag this to the little cloud at the bottom right here and make sure your mouse is right over the cloud and let it go and that will also move it right over to the cloud and you get the same message so that little message is kind of like your your uh, green light saying hey it worked and now it's uploading okay and I'm gonna find one more document I'm sure I have something else on here here we go snack bar price is perfect so those are the first two ways I want to show you this is the third way and by far the simplest where you don't have to do any type of dragging all you have to do is right click with the mouse go down to send to and then go up to Amazon Cloud Drive and that simple it'll move it and there's the message right there that's how you know it worked and we can close this out so um, that's the simple way of how to move your documents now also you can move a whole folder of documents the same thing you would either just drag the whole folder to that little box or you can drag the folder to here or you can right click the folder and it'll take it the same way so you have a couple different ways of doing it um, so whatever one works best for you is, is the important thing. Now, we're, we're going to jump back over to the Kindle in a second, and I want to show you where the, the documents are and what they look like and all that stuff. But I want to show you one quick sidebar thing because this is important. So um, when you move a document to the cloud, you actually have to go to the Amazon.com backslash cloud drive website in order to take the document off. So let's say you finish with that document and you don't want it in your cloud anymore taking up space. You want to put other things in there. In order to delete it, you have to go to their website. And I want to show you how to do that real quick. So you go to the cloud right here and right click. And the top option is open cloud drive website. So a real nice little shortcut. It's going to open up the internet for you and it will show you what's in the cloud. Okay, so we have these three things that we just uploaded. Just one reaffirms that what we did was correct. If you want to delete, you simply just check the box next to it and hit delete and it's gone. Okay, and that will delete it out of the cloud. So just keep in mind that's just a little option there. I'm going to show you when we get to the Kindle how to download things to it and how to remove it off of there. But it, unless you actually go to this site and take it off of the cloud, it'll still be up in the cloud. So I want to just make that point. Hopefully that helps out somebody. So let me minimize that. And now we're going to switch over to the computer. I mean, excuse me, we're going to switch over to the Kindle. And then we'll look at the documents and see how they look. All right. All right, so we just finished transferring our files from the computer to our cloud drive. Now, we're back on our Kindle here, and the way we access those uh, documents is you're actually going to go to Docs. Now, if you look up here, we have a lot of different options. One of them is Docs right here. So, before we get into these right here, you have two options here. You have Cloud and you have Device. Cloud is basically showing you everything that you've uploaded to the cloud. Now... Uh, post a device if you go to device it shows you the documents that are actually downloaded and saved onto the Kindle Well, what's the difference the difference is is that when you're not connected with the internet Anything that is in device that's downloaded onto your Kindle you can read it whenever you want 
opposed to cloud uh, options or cloud documents, you can't actually look at these, not until you download them. So it's important to note that if you need to read something on here, it's important that you upload to the cloud and then you go right to your Kindle and you tap on it and you download it so that once it's downloaded, it'll show up in your devices. See that? Or under device. Okay? Now we're going to download all three of these. So I'm just going to tap all three. And it makes it real simple. You just tap it, it downloads it, and you're done. So this one's done right here. And we know it because it has a check. Also, if you want to switch to device, it'll show you everything that's, again, saved onto your Kindle. And what I'm going to do here is after this downloads, I'm going to actually disconnect from the internet so you can see the difference. So let's go ahead and pull this down the menu and let's turn off the wireless. Wireless is off. And now we're in our docs and we can actually tap these and we can open them up and we can read them right from the Kindle. Okay? So see that? This was a homework assignment I did. And I can look at the whole thing, scroll all the way up and down to read it. Um, you can zoom in closer or zoom out. Now, the cool thing is when you zoom out, it actually like basically lowers the size of the text so you can have more on the page or less on the page it'll adjust uh, it for you because it's a word document it also show you the word count and you can also tap find to look for specific words within your document so that's really cool you also have some different viewing options here you can uh, let's see let's try a couple of them. view page this is the way it was actually types you can see how it would show on the computer you can do go from go to the top you can go to the bottom you can set bookmarks within it and jump to there and then you can zoom or you can do a full page and then you don't see any of the stuff on the sides just the document so a lot of good options here and this is actually using the office suite that comes on the Kindle so just a really cool uh, feature of it and then we go back, it brings our menu back up here. So that's a document on the Kindle Fire HD. Now let's switch over to a PDF. This is actually uh, a manual I downloaded for one of my Bluetooth devices. And so page one, page two, we can again zoom in and we can move around our PDF here. Okay. So real simple, that's only a two pager, but if you had a bigger one, you could just swipe back and forth to jump through the different pages. And that's that. Let's go back. So you have some other cool options here. If you were to hold down on one of the documents, you have an option to add it to your favorite. So when you tap on the star, that uh, document would be in there. And you could also email it right from here and send it to someone else. So that's also another cool feature with your documents that you can do. Okay. So that's about it there. Um, one last thing I wanted to try here, and I don't think you can do it. So this doesn't give you the option to like annotate your PDF, just to make that point. You can download some separate third-party apps that will allow you to do that. But this is mainly just a viewer, a basic viewer to be able to, again, see your PDFs and just to kind of get the idea of how everything works. And so, hope you found this helpful. Again, we're Word documents and PDFs. Now you can transfer them with ease wirelessly. You don't have to plug up the USB cable. You do have the option to do that, but I think this is a lot faster. And just to also point this out, if we go back to Docs here real quick, and we go to Cloud. There's this little option, I want to zoom in so you can see it, where uh, Amazon actually gives you this special email address where you can email your documents and it's supposed to save them onto the Kindle. Well, I want to point out I tested that multiple times and it didn't work. So I don't know if that feature is still in testing or if it's having some problems right now, but I tried to just email some basic documents to it and they never hit my Kindle. So just to point that out, if you see this, you can go ahead and test it out for yourself. But for me, I had some trouble with it. It didn't work. So I prefer just dropping it into the cloud and letting it send over and literally, um, it hit my Kindle within less than 30 seconds most of the time I try it. Now, again, I was using documents that were smaller and PDFs that were smaller. If your PDF is bigger, it may take a little bit longer, but this is still the easiest way to get it from the computer right to your Kindle, okay? So, again, hope you found this helpful.
Go ahead and subscribe to H2 Tech videos. Make sure you like the video if it was helpful. And keep watching it, watching us at H2 Tech videos. And have a good one.